the PSYOP model, practice and application component with technology integration. When technology is used effectively in the classroom, English learners can reap many benefits. PSYOP teachers leverage technology for multiple purposes, including access to information presented in the student's native language, simulations and virtual field trips, and writing and editing tools. The PSYOP model's practice and application component is comprised of three features. Hands-on materials and or manipulatives provided for students to practice using new content knowledge. Activities provided for students to apply content and language knowledge in the classroom and activities that integrate the four language skills of reading, writing, listening, and speaking. All right, you can go ahead and get started. In her seventh grade technology class, PSYOP teacher Lynette Larson's students are using laptops, webcams, and software in a lesson on stop motion animation. Today's lesson, we're actually at the culmination of our animation unit. Uh, students are working in pairs or teams to create a short one minute animated movie, hopefully around a fairy tale or some kind of story that they're trying to tell. Yeah, that's a good one. Maybe we should move it actually. Hands on materials that students have been using to practice the content knowledge. In our first assignment, they had matchbox cars and their job was to create a crash scene of the cars crashing together using Using stop motion animation and so we in that particular lesson um, they were also using the laptops webcams and software so there was lots of hands-on between the technology and the props that they were manipulating just to learn how the software works using digital content to teach the PSYOP models practice and application component can be motivating for students allows for a personalized learning experience is multimodal and provides experience with meaningful and authentic tasks, all of which can support English learners' acquisition of new information in academic English.